So much is the same at Universal Orlando now that the parks are finally open again to the general public, and yet so much is different. We put on our masks and went through the temperature screening to show you from inside what you can expect. So what everyone wants to know is how the rides are going to work. So when you come in, there will be team members waiting to put hand sanitizer on your hands and give you those goggles. And then on the ride itself, they're only seating people with the party that they came with and putting empty rows between groups of guests. Virtual lines will be offered as needed for some rides, but not across the board. Along with spacing people out, masks are now mandatory. We saw all but a few people complying. I'm surprised that everyone's like, not Here. complaining. Yeah. That everyone's like actually following the rules because I expected to see people like arguing. And not wearing the yeah. mask. No parades for the time being, but you will see some standalone entertainment spots like this. Performers will have masks unless they're singing or playing an instrument and then they'll be spread out. You can still take selfies with the characters, but only from a distance. Spacing is also a big factor in the dining experience. When you walk in, you'll first see a hand sanitizing station. And then when you go to the line to order, you can see they have those markings on the ground to show specifically where people are supposed to be standing. And at the tables themselves, they have a lot of them blocked off with these reserved signs just to cut down on how many people are dining in. Indoor theaters won't be open for now, but shows like Shrek that technically count as rides will be. It's definitely different from when we're, we're used to flying through everything um, because we know the park so well, but we're just taking our time and, and everyone's been pretty good. Universal has not said how long they expect to keep these protocols in place. At Universal Orlando, Hadass Brown, WESH 2 News.